Hey guys and girls, Ray Del Vecchio here. I'm going to show you how you can add social sharing buttons to the images on your website. So this is really popular for Pinterest specifically, but it'll also make your images really easy to share on Twitter or Facebook or whatever network you want. So we're going to do this using the Sumo Me WordPress plugin. You can also use this on your HTML website, but obviously we're doing this on a WordPress website. Now, if you want to see how to install Sumo Me, click the link below because I go through that in another video. Now that we have it installed, I'm going to click up here on this icon to go to the Sumo store so we could download this plugin. And the one we're looking for is the image share. So let me click on that and I will click the free button to install it. And now it's installed. So let me. Um, click out of here, exit out of that, and go back here and go to the image share app. Uh, they tell you how many shares you have total. Um, and here's your settings. And right now, they give you Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And if you're doing a food based website, they also have Yumly. And I would imagine that they're probably going to add a couple more services on here in the future, but. Right now, Pinterest is probably the most popular, so I'm going to drag that to the top to make sure that's first. And you can see the other options here. We have a URL shortener, so we're going to use their URL shortener. Um, if you have a linked image that links to another page, you may not want these buttons to appear, so you can toggle that on or off with this button or with this switch. And then you can also choose where you want the buttons to appear. So right now, by default, it's the center of the image, but I kind of like it in the bottom left. So it's not, you know, right in the way in the middle of the image. So let me do bottom left, and you can also append your Twitter username. So let me go ahead and do that, which is Ray Delvec, D-E-L-V-E-C. And we can also use the alt text for the title. So we're just going to leave that as is. We'll save this. And let's go to the display rules. So you can also choose where you want this to display. You could either do it on all pages. You can select maybe the home page or certain URL paths. Or you could select certain pages where you don't want it to show. So if you don't want it to show on the home page but you want it to show everywhere else, you could just select that. But right now, I don't want any of these rules. So I'm just going to exit out of here and we'll take a look. Let me just click yes. And you'll see now that it's installed, when I hover over this image, we have our share buttons. And if I click on Pinterest, you'll see that it brings up this um, sharing option. So that's really all there is to it. It's that easy to add these sharing buttons to your WordPress website. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also go to my website, which is WebsiteProfitCourse.com, to find out more information. I post a lot of uh, blogs, articles, and videos about web design, WordPress, and building your web design business.